Hi, this is Kathy from the White Pigeon Library. I've got a book report today on The German Life by Kelly Rimmer. And this is what the book looks like. We don't have the hard copy, but I've been reading it on um, Libby, which is a great program. And if you don't know how to use it, come into the library and we will show you or give us a call and we'll talk you through it. But um, this book was good because it gave the best um, description of the storms that caused the Dust Bowl during the Depression that I've ever heard before. It was just amazing how years and years of no rain and people watching their livelihood and their homes, you know, go under and go back to a bank. It was just, it was heartbreaking. And then also the other side of the story was um, a family who was in Nazi Germany before the war. So, you know, you go through years and years of thinking, well, this is going to pass, the guy's a lunatic, and then you realize that you're in it, and there's nothing you can do. And the two characters, the woman um, in Texas lived with her family on a farm, always wanted to farm, and it just went under. She lost her mother, died because of inhalation of dust, and then her father died, and she had she and her brother had to move to town and find jobs, and she married a scientist and then moved to Huntville, Huntsville, um, Alabama. And they basically were working on um, the space program and uh, scientists. Well, the other family, the wife was also a wife of a scientist who got caught up on a project. He wanted to work on rockets and that's what he had been doing before Hitler and before the war. But of course, his work was important because they could militarize that and weaponize his work on rockets. So he didn't necessarily want to be a part of the Nazis, but they threatened his children. And, you know, it, it was a good description of how you were stuck in a bad spot and whether you wanted to or not, you got caught up. But then the U.S. brought him to the United States because they wanted him to work on their own rockets. And it was interesting to see them get together in the same community because people weren't that cracked about Germans, particularly if it looked like they may have been a member of the Nazi party, whether they joined voluntarily or not. So it was very interesting. The German Life by Kelly Rimmer. It got a little slow at the end because, you know, it kind of just sort of didn't really go anywhere. But just for those two things, learning about uh, the dust storms during the Depression and the buildup of Nazi Germany, those two descriptions were worth reading the book. Thank you.